Hey guys, Modo here with JL Life. I figured I'd give you a walk around of romance, uh, show you my build and what I've done, and just kind of give you a little walkthrough. All right, everybody, let's say hello to Easy Does It, and let's meet Bromance. Starting off with my upgrades, I start with the front steel bumper, uh, HD Barricade Adventure Series, um, re red <laughs> D rings, and a Smitty built XRC 9500 winch. Uh, had to use it a couple times, it's worked great, no complaints. So tire size I increased from the 33 stock BF Goodrich KO2 to the 35 inch uh, BF Goodrich KO2. Um, kept the factory rims the same. I plan on keeping them that way for a little bit. I'll eventually upgrade, just don't know when. Suspension wise, I added the Mopar two inch lift uh, with the Fox shocks. Um, purchased through Amazon for, I wanna say $1,200 when I bought it. Uh, it was too good of a deal to pass up. Uh, I'm going to, haven't had issues with it. I'm going to continue to will and I'll let you guys Know how it continues to perform. So if you guys watch my other videos, you would see that I had a little issue with the rear bumper and crushing The seam pinch weld on my Jeep um, I've since upgraded it to the DV8 rear steel bumper um, It's been a real good unit. It's taken a couple hits since then. It's performed like a champ. The only issue I've had with it has been the texture that kind of peels off kind of easy as you can see uh, there's areas where I've had to cover with truck bed liner and we got some here got some here uh, some down here whoop, up here um, but it's performed really good it's taken some hits from the rocks and it continues to perform very well um, I like the look of it deviate makes some sexy looking stuff um, as you can also notice that it comes with some built-in lights. I've actually wired it into the reverse lights. So when I kick it into reverse, those lights kick on. They're super bright. I like them. Um, great, great piece. The only thing I don't like about it is the texture. And as you can see, it just peels off easily once it gets hit. But as far as taking hits, it's, it's performed like a champ. Next upgrade I've done has been the rear tailgate drop down with the Molly attachment. Um, I got this from MPS uh, Molly Platform Solutions. Um, let me show you how this works. You just pull out the pins, throw them down, and drops. And we basically have a table. Uh, I have an install video if you guys care to see how that was done. Um, if you guys are looking at the cool red inserts. Um, they're just taped in. Uh, that's not something that MPS offered, but I mean, it just really made it pop. Next upgrade we have here is from Tuffy Security, uh, the rear cargo uh, storage solution. Um, I like it. It's it was super easy to put in. Um, it's solid. I haven't had any issues with it, uh, and I like having somewhere to put bigger things when I can't go home immediately to secure them and it, being able to just know my stuff is a little bit safer makes me a lot more comfortable uh, toughy security thumbs up so the next thing we have are the the will well uh, MPS baskets um, I got two of them left and right driver and passenger uh, I got these mainly because I intend on putting the on or on board air uh, from ARB and this is where I want to mount it um, just to keep it away from the heat of the engine I see that a lot of people have issues who mount it under the hood at least from what I've seen um, and I think maybe just keeping it away from all that heat might just make it last a little longer um, and then we got a fire extinguisher fire extinguisher is always good to have right mm -hmm. let's go check out the inside so things that I have done is one, I have mounted my handheld radio uh, right there. Um, hook and loop, hook and loop. Um, when I'm not in use, I just push that in, flip it around. Nobody knows. Um, when I'm out wheeling, flip that around, put that back on there. Uh, so it's always easy to grab. Um, other things I have done, I have added the Mopar switches. Uh, you can't say I did it because I intentionally got mismatching colors. So people can't say that it came stock. I did it myself. Uh, I love the switches. They, they work great. 
Um, another upgrade is in the glove box. Glove box. Center console uh, is the Tuffy Security uh, product for the center console. I have upgraded it to the combo lock. Um, main reason because I hate carrying extra keys on my key ring. My keys are big enough. Um, but the install was was less than clear but once you figured out how to do it correctly i mean it went super fast it took 10 minutes to install it's it's in there um i like having this again just extra security and peace of mind um what else have i done in here i got some cheap grab handles i eventually plan on upgrading them um not super impressed with them but i mean they were sent to me free to review um for what they are, uh, they work, but I know there's going, there's better stuff out there and I'll eventually upgrade to that. So four more main upgrades that we're gonna go over. Uh, we're gonna start with the cow lights that I got from Rigid Industry. Uh, the cow light mount um, I got from Rebel Off-Road. Um, I love the mounts, they work great. Uh, they were super easy to do and they were actually the cheapest ones on the market um, at the time. They were 30 bucks for the pair of two. Um, super easy to put on super easy to come off uh, and I wanted something simple so when I want to drop the windshield I'll be able to do so relatively quick I have installed rock lights I have installed eight of them there's one and there's another going around to the back under the Jeep and we got another one right there. Other tire well. Another one in the center. Other tire well. And the last one I got is under here. On the front. I've hardwired hard all eight of them to a switch on the inside. I've tried those wireless switches and remote control ones. I really didn't like them. Um, kind of a pain in the butt to find when you're actually wheeling in the dark and you need your rock lights on. Um, other things I've installed has been an LED bulb for the headlight as well as the fog light. Um, I have angled my lights down since then because uh, I... I was blinding everybody for a little bit. Um, well, yeah, there's Bromance and there's my build. My aftermarket lights I wired to my switches inside. They work great. Um, if you guys have any questions, by all means, ask.